Hi everyone, I'm here with my kennel empties for the month of October and November. Um, I didn't do one in October because I didn't have that many empties because I'd been melting a lot so I just waited. So I have about 10 or so. So I'll just get started. I tried the Walnut 719 from Walmart candle. Um, it's the first one I've ever burned. It's the country market one and um, it was okay. It started off really good. It um, burned fine. Um, it has like a sweet um, sugary watermelon kind of scent to it and it was pretty strong like the first fourth or half of the candle but then I couldn't really smell it after that so I just burned it through anyways um, some people say it's a dupe for the um, Bath and Body Works um, watermelon lemonade one I think I don't know I've never tried that one but it was okay I don't think I'll repurchase another one because I wasn't that impressed. They are really affordable, which is nice. Um, I don't know. So if I see one that I really like, maybe I'll try another one, but no definite plans of buying another one of that brand. And then I have a Gold Canyon. Um, it's like a tiny, their smallest jar. It is in apple spice and they are five ounces. I think I got this one free or something with my order. Um, I've burned a lot of Gold Canyon candles um, last year and this is the one I've done recently. I like them. They have some issues with them. Like they leave a lot of wax um, at the end. They, they stop burning and then there's so much wax left, even on the larger size jars. So I don't like that about it. But apple spice is pretty strong, is a pretty strong thrower. So it, it smells, it throws um, well for a small room, for a small jar. And I like the uh, design of the glasses. They're really pretty when they um, burn. Actually I have this one. It's a Gold Canyon too. And then this is the last of my lab candles. It's like my fourth one, I think. This one is in Salted Wood and Marine. And um, I really like this one. I, it may be my favorite. Um, the burn was pretty similar to the other ones. There's setting, um, it's very, very messy. It leaves a lot of wax at the end, at the bottom. You can see there's like almost, I don't know, half an inch, inch left. So that's annoying, but the smell is really good. It's like on the manly side of aquatic and wood and um, it throws mm, okay. Like I have to put it in either my bathroom or my bedroom and I mostly use it for um, ambiance because the jar is really really pretty with the color and uh, it it lights up like a, a lantern kind of in this kind of jar and they're really pretty and then oops. this is the vanilla pumpkin marshmallow from Math and Body Works I got it this year it's the first vanilla pumpkin marshmallow that I've ever burned and um, I like the scent for what it was. It was like a really good um, cupcake, like toasted cupcake with like mm, kind of a caramelly kind of note to it. It reads as creamy vanilla, pumpkin spice, homemade marshmallow, and gizzled caramel. 
Um, but the scent was only true like the first, like less than the first half of the candle. And then it got muddled down with um, a light burnt smell to it. It was still good, like I could still enjoy it, but it was definitely not as pure for its whole burn. And this one, I had a cotton ball the whole time. Like, every time I burned it, I had a cotton ball sometimes multiple times each burn. I don't know why some of them, like, burn so terribly. So that was really annoying. But I like the scent enough to just keep at it, even though it was such a pain. And then I have my, of course, my Be uh, Better Homes and Gardens Sugared Berry. I think I have one more, so <laughs> until I stock up again. It is, oh, I don't think it has set notes on these, but um, yeah, it's just that like sugared raspberry, really, really, really girly kind of thing, almost like peak sugar. But they are the worst burning candles. Like every single one I've ever burned are just the most horrible, like this is seriously the most disgusting candle I think I've ever seen in my life. Like it sets, it has like nasty rings. It was almost too gross to even have out burning. Like it is so gross. It's just so annoying. Even the labels got all nasty um, I got it I figured out how to have it burn because usually they just pull out like an inch you can see like kind of the last pull like an inch and then I have to figure out how to um, make it pull out but I, I stuck another wick in it like from the beginning and so it like had a double wick and it burned, pulled out perfectly and it had a pretty good throw. So that was kind of a good idea. They're just so gross. And then this is from my last Goose Creek call that I did. It's the Rainbow Sugar. It was the first one that I burned through all the way through. Um, it has, the set notes are frozen strawberries, iced lemon, juicy raspberry, um, pink pomelo, sponge sugar, and vanilla. Mostly I got like a um, sweet, fruity, um, like raspberry, I guess, kind of, kind of scent to it. Um, the scent throw was pretty light, like uh, I had to put it in my bathroom and the throw would like go up and down if I could sp smell it or not. And um, yeah, I don't know, it was my first Goose Creek and I'm not like terribly impressed. They do sit, I have to trim it like super rigorously. And it's the kind of setting where it sits as it's lighting and it sits no matter what. And then it'll stop sitting once it's like pulled out and stuff. I don't know, it's not the worst sitting candle. So that's that one. And then I have a DW Home Banana Smoothie. Um, it, this one threw really well. It was definitely my best thrower. Um, probably the best throwing DW home that I've ever burnt. But I was hoping for like a really yummy banana scent like the uh, Bath and Body Works banana Sunday one, I think. Or something like that. But no, it's like all I could smell was this palm leafy kind of scent like threw in my whole dining room super strong but I 
did enjoy it. Like I wanted a sweet, creamy banana scent. But, so the scent notes is um, our freshly cut banana with hints of exotic banana leaves, which is mostly what I smell, uh, complemented by a vanilla yogurt and honey drizzle. Mm. Yeah. So the thing with the large one, the larger jars for me is it's harder for them to, they don't tunnel, um, but they're really hard to start burning. Like I have to, it takes them like six or seven burns for it to like pull out, stop having puny wicks, um, not being, not having issues. Like they just have the tiniest wicks, like the drowning kind of wicks. But then eventually once it starts to get going, it's like a really, really good burning candle. I don't have to worry about trimming the wicks. Um, it just pulls out nice, and it threw really well. But I won't ever repurchase it again because I didn't like the scent. Um, unless they come out with some sort of creamy banana scent. Yeah, it's just gross. Gross. But this one is another DW Holmes in um, Serene. And the Sentinel is Lavender Sage. And this is the most lovely, most uh, sweetest, fresh lavender scent I've ever smelled. I loved it so much. So good. Because I'm really particular on my lavenders. I don't like most lavender scents, but this is like a light lavender, but it's sweet. It was so good. And it's such a pretty color. Yeah, it scented a lot for sure, which I didn't care for. Um, and it didn't throw very well. I had to put it in my like tiny bathroom. And then I could sell it, smell it, um, but it, it was still light. So if only this scent was like as strong as this scent, I would buy this so many. It'd be like the best thing ever. And then my last two, I couldn't have burned through all the way. Like this is from Target. It's just pumpkin spice. I got it on clearance last year. Um, I don't even know what the brand is. Like. It just says Sense of the Harvest and Pumpkin Spice Scented Candle. So who knows? But I couldn't even burn it because the wick was like crazy to the side. It's like so funny. Oops. So I put it on my melter and it like I could smell it sometimes and the scent was really good like it was like an authentic pumpkin pie kind of scent but I can't really smell it for very often and then I was just gonna get rid of this one I've tried burning it for so long um, it is a village candle spice pumpkin and it is just so nasty like the scent notes are pumpkin, cinnamon, vanilla, and ginger, but like something in it is so wrong. Like something is so uh, like rottenly stale, and it's super strong. Like it is so strong. I ch and I tried and I tried to just burn it, but I just. I didn't want to waste, like I have so many like potentially good candles to burn through. I don't want a disgusting candle scent filling up my home. And it's not any of these like scent notes that I can pick out. It's just this general nasty smell that wasn't there on cold. And then it just came out of nowhere on me. And then I melted a few. Um, Bath and Body Works candles. This one is Costa Rica. Uh, these are all from like the summer and stuff. I put, I like chopped up a bunch of Bath and Body Works candles. Like, 
I go through phases where I melt them and then chop them up in like big batches because I'll have like a big batch of like nasty smelling candles, Bath and Body Works candles, and I'll have to chuck them. And so I get really frustrated. So this is a batch that I melted. And of course, I wish that I bought more. Um, and I, I would have liked to try burning it. But it did really, really well as a, as a melting wax. Like these two, the, the Midnight Blue Citrus one, it's the pretty popular one, are like potentially my most favorite scents ever. Like this one is so good. I think I'm just a sucker for like creamy coconut and pineapple scents. And that's what this this one is. It is like amazing. And it throws really well, like it's really fresh. I can smell it. It's good for all the rooms in my house. And like the scent notes are um, la lush passion fruit, juicy pineapple, white coconut. And I hope they come out with this. I don't know if this already is a repackage, but I would love, love more of those. This, for sure. And then the Midnight Blue Citrus. I do a lot of this in my bedroom. Cause it's very, like, sweet. It's like a sweet citrus, fruity kind of thing, but not too sweet, but just like perfectly pleasant. And it's perfect for any room, any time of the day, any time of the year. And it's my, sec well, my second one that I've uh, melted. Or bought the first one I burnt, but it it didn't throw as well as melting. And then my last one is the white barn version of the pumpkin pecan waffles. Um, I bought I've burned two other ones last year, and my first one was really good, like it's my husband's favorite. And then the second one was like way way too sickly sweet and like way too much like gooey like too much and then halfway through it, it got like burnt and kerosene and just like disgusting gross so i had to chuck it and then so the third one i'm like i'm gonna melt it i'm not gonna deal with that again and it's like amazing melted like it tones down the intensity and the like too sweetness of it and just makes it perfectly delicious and plans it and throughout the house and it lasts super long and it's like perfect for company because it is just delicious and but it's not too overpowering and definitely will melt again one next year i'll have to buy another one i don't have any more and yeah, so that is my empties for the past two months. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.